Hey. Welcome to another edition of Ed's Attention to Detail. I hope you guys liked the video clip of the FG-1D Corsair. That was shot at the Museum of Aviation in Virginia Beach. That was about 10 years ago. That is my footage. Um, man, that was so awesome watching this airplane uh, start up, taxi take off, and, and the, the high speed flybys at low levels. I mean, it looked like you could reach out and touch them. It was amazing. So anyway. I've always loved the Corsair. You guys know that I've been building a Corsair. It's a Revell kit. It's a skill level two kit, not the best kit out there. Now, with that being said, yes, it did cause some problems, but I think I overcome most of them. So I'm calling this my semi-final for, for the Corsair. Now, the reason why it's not a final is because I don't have a set of decals yet. The decals that came with this kit are long gone. And anyway, I want to put a different set of decals on there. And the backstory to that is when I was in VFA 32, uh, we actually gave out an award. It was called the Hudner Award. Now, this was given to our young sailors for initiative, for you know above and beyond uh, type actions. And it was named in honor of Lieutenant J.G. Thomas Hudner. He flew with VF 32 in the Korean War. He intentionally crash landed his airplane next to a squadron mate, Ensign Brown, who had been shot down. Now, Ensign Brown was the first African American naval aviator. Lieutenant J.G. Hudner crash landed his airplane, attempted to get Lieutenant, or excuse me, Ensign Brown out of his airplane. Unfortunately, those attempts failed and Ensign Brown perished in this incident. But for his actions, Lieutenant J.G. Hudner was awarded the Medal of Honor. So, I'm looking for the decals for that aircraft that he flew that day. And this is a picture of the decal set that I'm looking for. So, if you guys have any information on where I can find that decal set, if you possibly have that decal set and you're willing to part with it, please leave me a comment down below, let me know, and uh, try and work something out. Because I really want those decals. Anyway, enough of me rambling. Let's go ahead, take a look at the finished model. Hope you enjoy. Appreciate you guys watching. Okay, as you can see, turned out pretty good. Uh, I was really worried about the paint job on this because I had trouble spraying it. Uh, one of the, the nozzle on the spray can had uh, clogged up and it was just spitting and it looked really bad. What I did to correct that was I just put a couple of uh, coats of Future on it to help smooth it out a little bit, and, and it actually did the job. Uh, it blended everything in pretty well. Now this airplane is very much void of detail, and uh, what I say by that is I added the exhaust stacks that you see. I painted the, uh, the cowlings, the, the silver around the cowlings, just to add a little bit more detail. The engine in the front is all one piece. It's molded as one piece with the propeller shaft going through the middle of it. Very difficult to get in there and paint much detail. Uh, there wasn't much detail actually in the plastic. This canopy rail here in the front is way too thick uh, for this particular Corsair. So I had to do some filing and sanding. Uh, it, it stood too tall and I had to file it off even with the contour of the front windscreen and this aft windscreen because you've got this protrusion here in the back. You have to put the two fuselage halves together and then slide that canopy in there once it's all put together. And it just did not want to go in. It didn't want to sit correctly. One side was shallower than the other. So to get it to sit in there when you got wet glue on it, just just a horrible horrible experience um, I managed to clean the canopy off as best I could you'll notice there's still a little bit of glue residue there um, just something I'm gonna have to live with now I did get some zinc chromate paint and paint up inside now these wheel wells they're just wide open uh, there's there's really no back walls or anything to them there's no detail to them so 
I, I painted the zinc chromate to, to kind of highlight it a little bit, but um, I didn't paint them white because I thought that that would draw too much attention uh, underneath the wings and the fact that there are, they're, they're just wide open. There's, there's no, no barriers in there. So um, anyway, I did that, uh, the different colors, I painted the rockets and, you know, so it draws your attention, it draws your eyes away from some of the other areas that are actually lacking of details. So with all of that, like I said, this is a skill level two, two kit from Revell. It's not an expensive kit. Uh, you can pick them up for around 20 bucks, uh, sometimes even cheaper than that. Uh, for the money, eh, not bad. For the amount of effort that you gotta put into this thing, uh, I, I don't know that I'd do it again. But, like I said, it turned out looking halfway decent. Um, it does look like a Corsair. Uh, it's got uh, the detail on it uh, that, that draws your eye, it attracts your eye. And I know that once I get the decals and everything on it, that it's really gonna look sharp and uh, I'm, I'm gonna be very pleased with it in the end. I gotta say though, um, all in all for what it is, it turned out well. So, uh, enough of me bashing this particular kit. I'm gonna tell you that I'm glad it's done. I'm glad that it looks like a Corsair. And uh, yeah, so once I get my decals and everything, uh, whenever that's gonna happen, I will do the final on the Corsair and give you guys another look at it. But for now, I'm calling it done, semi-final. Uh, not gonna do any more work to it. Um, I, I think that making it look as good as it does right now with the amount of work I've had to put in it and the amount of trouble that I've had with this particular kit, I'm just gonna consider myself lucky. So, thanks for watching, guys. Really hope you uh, enjoyed taking a look at my Corsair. Hope you enjoyed the video. And again, have a really great day. Pay attention to the details. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye.